Hey, welcome everybody. This is the Solar Edge Home EV Charging Training. So glad that you could make it. What my hope is today is that you can limit your distractions and just give me about 20 minutes of your time. I'm joined today by Ash Trosh, and he is the national sales trainer for Solar Edge. And what we're going to do today is walk through the key differentiators of the Solar Edge EV charger. And I think one of the things that jumps out at me that I think is so amazing is that instead of having to install a dedicated breaker for an EV charger, if the homeowner already has a solar edge inverter, you get to piggyback off of that breaker through the inverter for the EV charger. That's really unique and truly what differentiates it. But there's a lot more than that as well. So uh, strap in for the next 20 minutes and uh, let's hop in. Ash, take it away. Yeah, hi, Chris, and thank you for having me. Uh, team, just as uh, Chris said, we're gonna be fast and furious today get a lot of information, but I want to make sure that we talk about the benefits of the Solar Edge Home EV Charger and answer the questions that you may have in your head. So let's go ahead and dig into it. Uh, so first of all, EV charging, We Forbes did a study. It's one of the most sought after home amenities in the U.S. Two out of three solar homeowners with EVs purchase their solar first. So we have customers that are looking at preparing for that uh, for that EV purchase. 20% of US drivers are saying, hey, my next car is going to be an EV. 80% of those are charging their uh, car at home. And EV race, uh, EV race aircrafts paired with EV ray parking spaces are becoming a requirement for new homes that are built. So as we can see, the need for this is only continuing to grow. The demand is only continuing to grow. So we want to arm you with the most relevant information. So why is carrying an EV charger beneficial to your business? How does it make you stand out from your competition? Well, first of all, you're differentiating your portfolio because not only are you able to provide an EV charger in addition to your solar system, but this is a solar ready EV charger. So this is going to integrate into the solar system. It's going to work with the system. And also it's going to plug into the inverter itself. Only the inverter is going to be taking up the space in the main service panel. So it's going to save you space in that main service panel as well. It's gonna help you close faster and a higher rate to a broader demographic. It's gonna have wide appeal. Uh, selling EV means that you're also going to sell more PV because as we know, we have to increase the electricity. Uh, we have to increase the system size to account for that added electricity consumption by the car. And it's also going to increase your customer satisfaction and increase the lifetime value of that customer because you're solving all of those smart energy needs all in one. You're becoming that trusted representative and they're going to bring you their friends and family and you're gonna maintain a customer for life because you're creating that perfect solution for them. Here's the summary of our EV charger. Uh, it charges up to 9.6 kilowatt or 40 amp. It's about seven times faster than plugging into a standard wall outlet. I don't know how many of you out there in the audience are EV owners, but plugging into a standard wall outlet is not the way you wanna charge your car. Uh, it is really slow, it takes about half a day at least to charge your car that way. So this is much, much faster. We have an industry best five-year warranty on this EV charger. The standard that we're seeing is about two to four. So we're about a year above that standard. It's rated for both indoor and outdoor use. There's the plug-in version where you're plugging into a 240 volt outlet. But what's more popular is the hardwired version where you're wiring it directly into your inverter. Uh, it has a 25 foot cable. So no matter where you're parking that car, you're gonna be able to reach the car it's remotely managed through the My Solar Edge app. Just like everything else in Solar Edge's ecosystem, it's controlled by one singular app. Uh, you can charge from just your excess PV by using the solar boost mode. And the great news here is there's a couple functions. You can either charge just from your excess PV, or you can turn on the full power mode and charge from both the excess PV and the grid at the same time for the fastest possible level two charge. This can be installed with or without PV. So this can also be a standalone product for your uh, customers as well. There's a couple of different compatibility options for 
this EV charger. The first and easiest is our home hub inverter. Because we have a socket already in the home hub inverter, this is our future ready, battery ready inverter. It can plug into the home hub inverter. And then the only thing taking up space in the main surface panel is the inverter itself. So with this setup, it's managed alongside the PV system and that solar boost mode and all of those integrated features is included. But what if your homeowner has one of those older HD wave uh, solar only inverters and they want to add an EV char charger? Well, great news here. I'm told that Soligent does have these in stock and we're able to order them now as just a single um, EV solar boost kit. So got ahead of myself on stock, but with the HD wave inverter, it is compatible with the EV charger. You just have to install a small adapter, a solar boost kit. And then you're gonna get all of those great features managed alongside the uh, solar system. It's going to integrate into the system, give you that solar charging, no problem. Another path that you can go here is if they have an HD wave and they're looking to upgrade, maybe they wanna do batteries. We have that uh, re-energize program with Solar Edge as well to swap out for a home hub inverter, and then they can add that EV charger seamlessly as well. The third option here is the standalone EV charger. In this case, there's two different ways to do it. You can either plug it into a 240 volt outlet, or it can be wired directly into the main service panel. Now in this case, because it's not connected to the PV system, uh, it's not going to be uh, integrated into the PV system. So you're not gonna have access to things like solar charging, but the good news here is that it's still going to be tracked and managed by the MySolarEdge Edge app. So even if it's not connected to the system, you're still gonna great, get all of those great control features through the MySolarEdge Edge app. Speaking of the MySolarEdge Edge app, let's talk about some of the different control features that you get. First of all, from the heads up display, we can see that we have an icon added. So when an EV charger is commissioned, it'll add this icon with a little car and what looks like a gas pump. Uh, it shows you, based on how green that car is, where your charge level's at. So in this image, it looks like the car is nearly fully charged. Uh, it'll show you what rate you're actually charging your car at. And if you click on that icon, it's going to open up a panel that's going to give you more information and more control features. The first, it's going to show you when your next scheduled charge is. This is a great feature for this EV charger, especially being integrated into the PV system. Because let's say that you got home from work and it's about 5 p.m. In a lot of time of use rate areas, that's the most expensive time to buy your electricity. So you don't usually want to plug your car in around that time. Well, great news. With this feature, you can set the time that you want your car to start charging. So when you get home from work, you can schedule your charge and go ahead and plug it in. And you're not going to begin charging, even though your uh, car is plugged in, until that time. Uh, as we scroll down the app here, we can see this is where you turn that scheduling on and off. Also, you can control your solar charging here. This can be turned on or off. If it's on, it'll enable those solar charging modes. If it's off, then it'll just enable the uh, normal EV charging functions. You'll charge using whatever power is available. Now, with, sol with solar charging, wanted to show you at the top here, there's a couple things to look at. This car, uh, we can see, has the solar charging currently enabled. It's charging from just the excess solar power. Now, if we take a look, there's a big old blue button that says full power mode. If you needed your car a little faster, you could press the full power mode and switch to using both the grid and your excess PV to get you a faster charge. So it's not an either or. If something happened and you needed that car a little faster, the ability is there to uh, increase the, uh, the power. So, when we're talking about adding an EV charger, a lot of times it's a conversation about how do we factor that into the proposal? How do we know how much additional solar a homeowner is going to need to support that EV, especially in the case where that homeowner hasn't purchased the EV yet, it's not showing on their electric bill? Well, here's a simple guide. Uh, the average guide, two to three kilowatts of solar, or about 500 kilowatt hours of additional consumption per month per EV is a good estimate but there's a way to get a little bit more accurate with these estimates. For more precise math, there's a few questions you wanna ask the homeowner. Number one, what type of car are they looking to purchase? Or what have they already got in their garage? 
Uh, what's the average miles that they drive annually? And also, do they plan on adding another electric vehicle to the home in the next couple of years? Because we know the more cars that they add that need to plug in, the higher that multiplier is going to get. So based on average driving conditions, this is the mileage of models of electric car. Uh, electric sedans with uh, normal driving habits, and then myself, I'm a little bit of a lead foot, so I don't get quite this much. Electric sedans are about four miles to kilowatt hour. Electric SUVs get about three miles to kilowatt hour, and the electric trucks are the least efficient at about two miles per kilowatt hour. So what we want to do for math here is take the average miles annually. We're going to divide it by the miles per kilowatt hour of the vehicle, and that's going to give us our average annual kilowatt hours additional. So, for example, let's say that your homeowner ha drives about 15,000 miles annually, and they've got one of those neat electric SUVs. So they're getting about three miles per kilowatt hour. Breaking this down, uh, if we look at it on a yearly basis, that's going to be about 5,000 additional kilowatt hours uh, per year, or sorry, per month. And if we're, no, per year, got it right the first time. And if we're looking at per month, what should we account for? Well, we take that and divide it by 12. And that brings us to approximately 400 kilowatt hours added to the monthly consumption estimates. So doing this math here can give you a more accurate estimate of exactly how much bigger you need to build that system for that homeowner. I wanted to go through a couple of common questions and objections that we may get while we're at home talking to a homeowner about adding that EV charger. Um, one that we see pretty frequently, especially for that homeowner that's getting their solar preparing for the electric vehicle. Hey, we're considering getting that electric vehicle, but we may wait to install the charger. Well, there's a lot of good reasons to not wait on that decision. Uh, some of the benefits of installing both the EV charger alongside PV. Number one, you're going to help avoid those additional equipment and labor costs because you're getting that EV charger installed at the exact same time as the solar. So one crew is gonna be able to accomplish all of that. You can actually integrate it into the PV system at the time of the solar installation. So that's all gonna be taken care of by the time that they get that electric vehicle on deck. And they can take advantage of the ITC or other state incentives for EV chargers at the time of that installation during the project. So additional considerations, do they have friends and family? Do they have other people that are gonna charge on that EV charger that are coming by? Because they could be making use of that. Also, how soon are they looking to uh, get their EV? If they're a month or two out, we all know that installation timelines can vary. So even though they're not getting their EV for a couple months, it might be the best idea to go ahead and proceed with that EV charger at the time of their solar installation. That way they don't get caught in a backlog. They have it by the time that they need it. Another common objection we see is the customer cost objection. So sometimes when we show the homeowner that they're going to need a little additional solar and they're going to need to, to pay for an EV charger, they might get sticker shock a little bit. But when we're considering that against gas rates, it doesn't even become equal. Uh, current gas rates, uh, being a little conservative, $5 a gallon, depending on where you're living, an average car gets about 25 miles per gallon, and the average person drives about 15,000 miles annually. So let's say that someone's spending about $3,000 annually on gas. That's approximately $30,000 over 10 years. Now, taking a look at the alternative here, and again, all of these numbers are estimates. Let's say they need three kilowatt additional solar to cover vehicle charging, and we're going to average a 375 price per watt for this example, plus that EV charger. All in, that equals about $12,250 as a one-time investment, which is approximately 1,225 annually over 10 years. So as you can see, compared to the price of gas, uh, there's not even a comparison. It's much more efficient and effective to uh, go with that EV today and that extra solar. Now, the big one that you may get, why should I choose the Solar Edge EV charger over other EV chargers on the market? 
Well, what we see sometimes is that we have dealerships that might be recommending a certain EV charger. And here's how we compare to some of those. Number one, are uh, EV chargers integrated directly into the solar system? That allows the ability to charge from excess PV, as well as since it's wired directly into the home hub or HD wave inverter. The inverter's breaker is the only thing that's taking up space in the main service panel. In a lot of cases, that's going to help you uh, save from having to do main service panel work or even a main service panel upgrade. Uh, everything is managed. Your EV is managed alongside your solar system in one app. So you've got one powerful app controlling your entire ecosystem of products. Uh, this is unusual. Um, if you are purchasing an EV charger by a third party, then you're gonna have to install another app on your phone. If you're anything like me, I kind of lose track of which app does what at a certain point. But if you just have one app, the MySolarEdge app, it controls everything by us. Uh, this EV charger is compatible with all electric vehicles. So no matter what is sitting in your garage, it'll be able to charge it. And we've got that industry leading five-year warranty so you can uh, rest assured that that EV charger is going to uh, make it for the long haul. We've got some resources here that we will be sending out and we'll have available to you, including we've got a playlist on YouTube about our EV charger. We've got homeowner flyer and a homeowner FAQ. And I wanted to invite you all to join our SolarEdge Sales Elite Network. We do other trainings just like this one on a monthly basis. Uh, this month, we'll actually be doing a whole uh, walkthrough of the My Solar Edge app. Uh, so join the network, you get a monthly newsletter, trainings like this, and sneak previews of new product, contest raffles, and swag giveaways. Uh, Chris, again, I want to thank you so much for, uh, for hosting us, and I'll turn it back to you for closing thoughts. Fantastic, Ash. Thank you so much. Uh, really, really appreciate it. Um, I just want to let everybody know as well that, uh, that we have uh, solar edge ev charger in every warehouse available today as well as the boost kit which can be purchased individually so it can be a one-to-one -one relationship for a boost kit and a an ev charger uh and for the hd wave inverters um and so those are available today any questions can go through your account manager and uh and if you uh want ha want any or have any specific questions for me feel free to reach out uh your account managers can get you in touch with me uh once again thank you so much ash Thank you, everybody. Thank you for uh, joining uh, Solgent's lightning round of trainings and uh, stay tuned for the next one. Thanks so much.